Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Today we have a question from one of our subscribers. It involves uh, exponentials over here, the variables buried on exponents. So let's do a quick analysis and see how we go about uh, solving this one. To submit your questions, please subscribe the channel. Here's the analysis, u to the minus x, anything to the minus exponents is 1 over to the positive exponents. So if we let u equal to 4x, which we're doing is a substitution, variable substitution, then we have a u plus 6 over u equal to 5, which is really easy one to solve because it's just a really quadratic equation. We can either factor or we can use quadratic equation. All right, so let's write up the solution. All right, so here's the solution. It's 4 to the minus x is 1 over 4 to the x with the positive 1. Now, this resembles what we have over here. Substitution leads us to say u plus 6 over u equal to 5. Multiply by u on both sides. You'll see this is just an easy quadratic, for, uh, quadratic equation. Well, I choose the factor over here, u minus 2 minus 3 equal to 0. And that gives u equal to 2 or 3. Since x was related to u in, that, in this fashion, we're going to have to substitute it back in there to solve. The first one was pretty easy to solve because 2 is equal to 2 square x. And here you can see if x is equal to half and then I have 2 equal to 2. Second one that's a little tedious, but nothing difficult. Take a natural log on both sides. The reason I want to do that is because I want x fall off in the front. That's one of the properties of natural logism, natural logarithm, or any logarithm. So here we have x equal to natural log of 3 divided, uh, divided by natural log of 4. Well, I hope this helps. Hi, this is Dr. Payne recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment, share, or like this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.